Uh, guys, I don't think these chairs are for sitting. See, it says right there, sitting down is not allowed. So we're here in front of the uh, Palace of Versailles. It's about an hour outside of Paris. It's our last day in, uh, it's our last day in Paris or in France. 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 Mom's been very nice buying all this stuff for me. It's been an awesome trip. And yeah, we're about to go see this palace. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's all, all that gold in the back. She's really excited to show off the gold in this palace. <laughs> and then we have a guided tour of the uh, King's private apartment. apartment. There's this hall of mirrors. There's like 300 mirrors or something crazy like that. It's gonna be really cool. I'm not sure why I always take random selfie shots, but I do. So this is the room where we're waiting for the guided tour of the king's private chambers, or his private apartments. We're waiting for his private apartments. This is a really cool room. And this, apparently we get to uh, skip the line too. They're gonna take us right in. We actually waited in line for like 20 minutes only to realize that we weren't in the right spot. And it was a completely different building. Free toilet, I hope so. A few places in Paris tried to charge us, like two dollars. Not paying to use the toilet. Other side of the Golden Gates now. Inside the palace. We're in the courtyard. So this is the first room we went into. Please enjoy the nice view. Look at all the gold on the wall. It's pretty stunning. I really like the floors in this place. It's a really cool design. This is the original floor from when the kings used to live here, so it's really cool. This clock was made in Paris in the 1730s, 1740s. It still works. Yeah, you see the uh, dial. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the globe on top includes a mechanism that does not work anymore, but could show the movement of the planets, like the rotation of the Earth and the revolution of Saturn. That mechanism is not working anymore, but the clock itself works very well. This thing still tells the date and it's accurate to the day of recording this. Bobby would love this desk. Nobody could steal his writings. You need a key to open this. We were told that there would be some really short doorways in this tour, so you could really see how short people were back in the day. The story works perfectly though, because my room's really short too, so I'm a short person, so I liked it. The next room we're going into, at first I thought it was a library because it has all these books. But I was told that they're not actually books, they're just boxes that the king would use to hide his writings and other things like that. It had me fooled. Hey King Louis, can I have a job? <laughs> People used to watch the king while he was on the toilet and ask him for things like a job or a place to live. It's weird, I don't know why people would want to watch someone take a shit. That's crazy. Can't believe we're in the same room that Mozart was in. I'm a jazz singer and yeah. I'm a drummer. And guitars. And a guitarist, yeah. <laughs> of course we had to take a mirror selfie in the room where Mozart had the form. I mean, how could you not? And now we're going to the, the theater. We're gonna go see the theater where they used to do all their music and stuff. That that would have been where Mozart probably would have performed. Maybe in or maybe. addition, but he said he played in that room. He probably played, yeah, when they had their Christmas parties and stuff, I would have assumed, yeah. More entrance ways for short people to the theater. Ooh. This is where they used to have the opera. <laughs> this is really cool. King's private opera. Alright, what are we doing today? So the royal family used to eat dinner on this stage. But everybody else had to sit in these seats and watch. <laughs> like, I can't imagine just wanting to watch someone eat. They did that for the inauguration, for the opening of the opera house. Just the one night, the first night. Well, they did have bands playing down there in the pit. Yes. But yeah, that's still crazy that people would just want to sit and watch them eat. Pretty good acoustics in here. And now we enter the Hall of Mirrors. I'll be honest, when I heard Hall of Mirrors, I was thinking more like a fun house. I was slightly disappointed, but this is still pretty cool. It's crazy, because they didn't have the technology to make big mirrors the way we do, so that's why it is multiple smaller mirrors, which is why it gets named the Hall of Mirrors. 
one's at like 50 percent now so we'll see. we'll see how long it lasts i forgot my charger today is that your hat no you just found that so we're having lunch at the palace mom got a lemon souffle how is the souffle it's fantastic and I actually ordered a ham and cheese sandwich, but they gave me a ham and cheese pasta instead. With black truffles. I'm not gonna complain, it's actually pretty good. Now that we're done lunch, we're just gonna take a little stroll around the gardens, see what we can find out here. Let's go get on the train. And I think we might go and uh, take a train over to the other, the other side of the, whatever is out here. This is really massive. Apparently it takes like an hour to walk across this entire place. It's a lot here, there's like a giant park, huge canal. I'm excited to see what's here. This is a really cool view from here, yeah. We're just waiting for the train. We got about a 15 minute wait. So we're just killing some time here. The train will take us to, it'll take us to the Grand Canal, the Petite Trianon, and the Grand Trianon. I think the Grand Trianon was where you wanted to go to see the, whose house was it? Marie Antoinette's. Marie Antoinette's house. Let them eat cake. Now we're finally on the train, we're gonna go explore. I never know, I never know what to say. Just enjoy the view. It'll be a nice view. It's like we're on a roller coaster, it's so bumpy. It's, it's fun though, it's fun. Trianon, which has Marie Antoinette's house. This is Marie Antoinette's house. Okay, apparently this is her house. I don't know. It's a uh, little confusing, but we'll see. So what, this is Marie Antoinette's house? Are we in her house right now, or? The queen? Let's go upstairs. Okay, I guess we're not going upstairs. But well, these are old outfits. These are the bodyguards. Oh, that's what the bodyguards used to wear? You would take your job very seriously if you were guarding the queen. Oh, yeah. She came here to hide. She was afraid that they were going to storm. But it's nice. I like this. This is really nice. I'd rather live here than in the in the castle. See, this is the same. Um, there's side. Yeah, the same design on the ground. Yeah. Now oh, this looks more like the castle. Tell them how much shorter they were back then. So all the entrance waves are so tiny. Oh, look at her kitchen. This is a kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> I like how they have it lit up to make it look like it's actually working. It's pretty cool. These are the old pans and pots that they used to use. We're walking. I'm Mary Antoinette. Oh, yeah. I say, let them eat cake. Are there any wild animals around? You think we'll find any wild animals around here? Let's go see if we can find some wildlife. I heard this is a good hunt area for hunting. Oh, look, there's something over there. Yeah, I'm getting really close to him. 
Don't get in my front of my camera. That's cool. Oh, there he goes. He just popped up. That's cool. This is so cool. Ah, he just went down. So peaceful out here. It's nice. In the summer, yeah. It's starting to grow. Still really up. nice now. But it must be just stunning. It's really nice right now, though. I still like the look of it, like in the fall. Spring. Spring. Well, it's spring now, but like, yeah. It's the same kind of thing. We're on a nice nature hike through the woods here. This is really nice. Man, just imagine living this close to all these woods. It'd be great. Oh, there's Moira's River over there. Let's go see this river over here. This looks really nice how it's like half frozen, half not. I really like like right now when everything's just starting to melt, it looks so pretty. This is amazing. We gotta go up there. We're gonna go up there. Oh, this is gonna be cool. This is like, this is a good nature hike. This is really cool. What was this building used for? Look at all these like lion people here. Let's see, let's go see what's inside this building. I don't think we can get in, but how would they have used this for? What would they have used this for? Do they say what they used this for? Um, music salon. Music. So they had music playing here? Music room. Huh. You could imagine Big Brother. Big Brother rocking out in the middle of the woods here in this little place. This would be a sweet place to have a concert. That'd be awesome. If only. If only that was possible. If I had the money, I would rent out this place just for a concert. That's my dream. Think anyone would notice if I took a dump in the woods? There's no one around here. I think we could get away with it. <laughs> oh, we're not alone. I hear voices. I don't think this is a good place to take a dump. I hear voices. There's got to be a bathroom around here somewhere. Dun dun, dun dun. Where do you see flowers? So here's a map showing where we are right now. We are, yeah, Jardy Francais. We're by the Petite Triana and I don't know. I think we're at, we're at that dot. So apparently this is a urinal. I was just in the stall because I couldn't find anything. I thought I was in the wrong bathroom for a second. That's all folks, we've seen Versailles. Not really, but we've seen what we can for today. We saw probably a quarter of Versailles. So what was your favorite part of the day? Um, I have to say walking through the gardens at Marie Antoinette. Yeah, walking through the woods is really cool. Also being in the same room that Beethoven was once in. Mozart. And going to that, or Mozart. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was really cool too, yeah. Well, we're about to go through the gates and leave. Um, yeah, I gotta get up really early. I have a flight at 7 in the morning, so we're gonna grab some food and go to sleep. So, see you later, guys.